Namaste everyone. We're going to talk about how to engage the hip flexors in a way that gives the body a fuller geometry. You know, it really clarifies the center of the hips, which will really help with uh, poses such as boat pose, down dog pose, uh, pressing to handstands, and uh, an actual handstand press. Also jump backs and jump throughs and all sorts of um, postures in yoga. A really simple uh, forward bend, trying to lift the legs while keeping the spine straight. This is known as Dandasana. Uh, you can accentuate that by pressing the legs down and try to resist, but keep the spine straight so we don't want to round or hollow the shoulders at all. Just press away and lift the thighs against the resistance. It doesn't need to be a huge effort. We're looking for a feeling of engagement deep in the front of the hips. It's really helpful to do deep breathing because the psoas, which is the main hip flexor, is uh, it's very intimate with the diaphragm. So the inhale, which is a diaphragm contraction, tends to trigger the psoas. Now you can do this same pose, we're gonna progress into more advanced variations, would be laying on the back with the legs up. Reach the legs and resist so if you can go all the way to the feet, point the feet and resist. Maybe my tailbone's coming up a little bit, but what I want to feel is the resistance deep in the core. And again, maybe five breathing. The toe point's very helpful because I want to feel the back line. Uh, see the video on Purvo Tanasana about that. And also a sensation of squeezing the thighs. This is an upside down boat pose essentially. And you want to feel this engagement and this is a good strengthener for boat pose. To help prep you for bow would be feet on the wall and just leaning such as this. You can again even uh, make it more difficult by pressing against the hands. Some people do pr prayer hands, some people do separated hands. The higher you go with this, the more difficult it becomes. Eventually you find the balance. You want to find that deep hip flexor engagement in your down dog pose. Uh, so a down dog is simply an upside down boat pose. And I'll quickly demonstrate how to get into boat and notice also as you do these progressions that the strengthening of the hip flexor is what gives you lift. Now normally in the Ashtanga sequence, you would lift on an inhale, exhale, drop down, and do four more sets. Um, so this is definitely where you can practice like lifting to the handstand, which takes shoulder girdle strength, but it's also hip flexor strength to be able to keep these in tight where the feet will hit the ground, which uh, inhibits being able to jump back or lift up the press handstand. Essentially, that same feeling of, for example, if I was in a down dog, I want to it's probably going to drag my mat, but I want to have that feeling of pulling in the feet. And that pulling in is hip flexor strength. So this is probably <laughs> going to just keep dragging. But So I'll go ahead and demonstrate it, but it's, it's very helpful for the pulling in of the feet to happen on an exhale and the inhale to initiate the handstand because the diaphragm gives extra, it gives support to the psoas uh, and vice versa. So it makes your legs lighter. So right there is my boat pose and I'm pulling the thighs in. So that's the pulling in is this sensation. And then the lifting up is pulling in the thighs. I hope that was helpful. Give it a shot and comment below, share, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. See you in the next video. Namaste.